On today's episode of World of Micah, we're visiting the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World to discuss some history at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom starting in 1988 and on to 1996 from Mickey's Birthday Land, Mickey's Starland, and Mickey's Toontown Fair. Now. Oh boy, and the Walter E. Disney is pulling in to the station here at the Magic Kingdom. So in the year 1988, they opened Mickey's Birthday Land here at the Magic Kingdom. They were celebrating Mickey's 60th birthday in the Walt Disney World Company. They had a special, and Michael Eisner announced they were going to be bringing Mickey's Birthday Land. You can see the photo here of Mickey and the gang and the birthday cake they had right up top of the railroad station there. They had all kinds of different banners saying happy birthday Mickey and this was a huge celebration kind of like when we're doing the you know the 50th celebration here all right let's head up the uh, the Ozzy Osbourne steps that's where they took the photo for the Ozzy Osbourne album album with Randy Rhodes we're gonna head over to Storybook Circus quite a line here for the railroad holy cow look at this so I'm gonna say scratch that and walk. I need to walk. We'll ride the train later on today. Maybe, maybe to get back. So June 18th, 1988, they opened Mickey's Birthday Land. And at the time, it was the world's most magical celebration here. Celebrating the mouse that started it all, Mickey Mouse. to celebrate this birthday for a few years until May 26, 1990. They rethemed it to Mickey's Starland. And yes, you guessed it, on June 29th, 1996, they opened Mickey's Toontown Fair. And Toontown Fair would continue to be Toontown Fair until 2011, when the new Fantasyland and Storybook Circus took over the area. I also wanted to show you guys this photograph. I think it was taken like right in front of Mickey's house. Carol Burnett, Michael Eisner, Roger Rabbit, Mickey Mouse, and the rest of the gang there doing the ribbon cutting ceremony for Mickey's birthday land. So around in this era, this was not Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. This belonged to Captain Nemo, 20,000 leagues under the sea. This is where you'd be walking. Now a lot of this has changed, but you would see the Welcome to Duckburg sign around in this area. And this was the, the first tent right over here in this area. All right, let's do this. This is walking into Mickey's Birthday Land and Starland. You would start off here and they had some fake facades, storefronts, you know. And it was really cool because they paid tribute to Duckburg and you had Duckburg News that was founded in 1928, little nod to Mickey for his birthday. And when you'd walk, you would have your first tent that was right here, a yellow tent. This tent was pretty big and it connected to a little back area, which is where the big top souvenirs is located now. So where we're standing, we're actually walking into, like through the yellow tent and then tucked away in the back was Big Top Souvenirs. Yeah, in this photograph, you can see how far back it was tucked. And it stayed here until Mickey's Toontown. Here's another one where this uh, attraction kind of gets in the way. I'm trying to show you guys where the Toontown Fair sign was. And then you would physically walk in to Toontown and this would be way later on as you walked in, tucked back in the back. But the way I can kind of put this, you know, together, all of this has kind of shifted here. Like this big top souvenirs, which I will show you what it was before here in a second, was tucked way in the back, which means in this area over here was where Pete's garage was. And then you would walk in, and this is all from Toontown Fair. You would walk in and over here was the Barnstormer. Now the Barnstormer is the only attraction that's left 
from any of those eras. But right over here used to be the barn. They actually had a barn here. And uh, you could meet a cow that had a hidden Mickey on it naturally. And this is not the original location of the Barnstormer either. If you go back towards the front, the Dumbo area was the original home of Goofy's Barnstormer. But now, it's home to Dumbo the Flying Elephant. That's pretty cool, right? A lot of changes in this area. So the yellow tent would have been there, and then it moved down with more facades, and then he finally landed right here, which is now Big Top Souvenirs. But when this was Mickey's Toontown Fair, it was also a gift shop. You can see in the front of this uh, photograph I'm showing you what it looked like then. And there was someone who was always here from Mickey's Birthday Land all the way through to Mickey's Toontown Fair. And that's Mr. Cornelius Coot. There was a character here named Cornelius Coot, and he kind of sat where I'm standing right here in the shadow, and there was a, a plaque for him that says, this is old Cornelius Coot who turned his corn crop into loot and founded Mickey's Toontown Fair. To him, we dedicate this square. Now, when we walk inside, it has changed quite a bit, but I do have a photograph to show you how much they really changed in here. And it's kind of like right here that photograph was taken. But it has changed, now it is Big Top Treats. And one of my favorite bears is in here. Humphrey Bear. And one last photograph. I want to say this is where this was taken. Welcome to, to Mickey's Toontown Fair. Got all the characters on it. Now this photograph is pretty much impossible to line up because of Tron blocking Space Mountain. But in the distance you can see in this photograph a huge Mickey. Now this went all the way back there. Now Toontown Fair, Mickey Starland, and Mickey's Birthday Land had so much land back here. You can also see the train station in the left hand side of this photograph and that's where we're heading now. Now this area has changed quite a bit but right back here next to Tron and the grid was Donald's house. Donald's house used to sit right over here. It was a boat dedicated to Mr. Duck. None of this was here. But the train station was here. And the front of the train actually had a happy birthday uh, Mickey sign right on the front. You can see in the photograph, we'll see what the, the train kind of looks like today when it pulls in. Now, one thing to notice, this water right here can be seen in the photograph of the train pulling into the station. It had a uh, big top like fair thing on it, you know, like a tent with the pink and the white and everything. Sure has changed. And then this is the same station area when they had it. Now the front of the station looked completely different. Now this is the Carrollwood Park Fantasyland station here. It'll take you all the way back to the front, but this used to be the entrance to Mickey's Birthday Land here. You can see the Mickey's Birthday Land station in the photograph. And then I want to say they just changed it to Mickey's Starland after that, you know. Did find one photograph of when this was Mickey's Toontown Fair. Which is neat. It's cool to see how it looked. Kind of reminds me of Toontown out in Anaheim. It just had a completely different makeover. You see it pulling into the station here. And this is what it looked like once again when they were celebrating Mickey's birthday. It said, happy birthday, Mickey. Right in front of the train. Love that train. And right over here, more or less, in this area, was the giant Mickey. That thing was huge. Huge inflatable Mickey Mouse over here. We were celebrating the mouse. Now I started coming here when they still had Starland and then I saw it transform into Toontown Fair. Did any of you get to come here and see this when it was? Mickey's birthday lamp. You can see the Cinderella castle in the distance. 
right through those trees. And then you can see this photograph of Mickey's house. With all the characters from the Disney Afternoon, that's right, you can meet people from the Disney Afternoon here. In this photograph, you can see the Gummy Bears, Mickey, Scrooge McDuck, the rest of the Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and some DuckTales action going on too. So this is where Mickey's house originally sat, then there were two other tents, which are still sort of here. There's one back there behind Mickey's house. And all this would change when this turned into Mickey's Toontown Fair. But through Mickey's Starland, Mickey's house was more or less right, right in this area. Here's another promotional photograph that was taken right outside of Mickey's house with the Disney Afternoon Gang. You can see everyone, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, got Scrooge McDuck and the nephews from DuckTales, and Mickey and Goofy and Pluto. Now where we are standing right now is exactly behind Mickey's house. There's that tent, the same area, and that tent. And there was a smaller pink tent that sat over here that has been removed. And who knows what the future is of this area. You know, Anaheim at Disneyland, they got Pete. Pete now roams their area. Could we get Pete here? It would make a whole lot of sense. And it is weird, you can meet Minnie here and Daisy, but you can also meet the great Goofini and Donald. But you can't meet Mickey Mouse here, even though he had three lands here dedicated to him. We should probably change that, in my opinion. You know, Pete, Mickey could, you know, start something new. But if they were ever gonna bring a character here besides Pete, I'd wanna meet Humphrey Bear. I mean, they're promoting him. Just put some more merchandise out, make him a meetable character, done. Kids will love him. So if you come here and you want to do something from the original Mickey's Birthday Land all the way up to Toontown Fair, you can go inside Big Top Souvenirs or ride the Barnstormer itself. But like I said earlier, it's not in the same location, but you can still do you know, the original attraction. Now, and this would not be the final location for Mickey's house. They would later change and Minnie's house was first. So if you were looking down this area here, this is what it would have looked like in the photograph. You can see Minnie's house. And then as you continued on, all the way down, this area over here was where Mickey's house would have sent. But this was a lot of fun. I'm glad we came over here and kind of matched up some stuff. It all changed in 2011, like I said, and became what we know as Storybook Circus. But I can still close my eyes and remember Starland and Toontown Fair. Comment below, let me know your memories. What do you guys think of this area now and what do you think of a future for this place, you know? Toontown out in Anaheim got a major facelift. Do you think they could be coming for Storybook Circus now that the 50th is about to be completely over? We'll have to wait and see. It's gonna be exciting to look back at this episode one day and see how much has changed. Yeah.